When we want to look at the role of management accounting, it's good to look at a case example. A dear can sun drop farms and it made these statements. If you are a traditional farmer, you will need water and energy to grow your produce and you will need lots of it. The challenge is that their finite resources that are becoming even scarcer. Our solution not to use them. We don't extract groundwater from the planet at unsustainable rates. We don't rely on fossil fuels and we don't use soil or valuable farmlands. Instead, we have developed technologies that integrate solar power, electricity generation, freshwater production and hydroponics. It produces an equivalent quantity of food to that grown using traditional methods but the quality is significantly better. So if we touch base on the history of Sundrop Farms, which is located in Port Augusta, South Australia, Australia, commenced their operation as a pilot project in 2010 under Seawater Greenhouse Australia Private Limited. In 2016, significant technology changes led to the Sundrop system that led with dissolving the joint venture with Seawater Greenhouse Australia Pty Limited and on the same year expanded the operations to 20 hectares in Port Augusta and opened operations in Portugal and United States. So what's notable about Subtrop Farms is that it uses soil water for irrigation by desalinating them and solar energy to power and cool the greenhouse greenhouses. So the seawater that's been desalinated and initially that salt was concentrated to produce salt, granular salt, but later the farms agreed, came to an agreement to release the concentrated salt water by diluting with sea water to an acceptable level to channel back to the sea. So it uses the fresh water for irrigation and then the solar system provides the heat and uses the power uh, and cooling for the greenhouse. The farm produces trust tomatoes. So the Sandro Farms entered into an exclusive agreement with Coles to sell their products, trust tomatoes. The, the farm made an investment of 180 million to 200 million on exhausted farmland with little potential for traditional agriculture. So there are several business partners of Sandra Farms, Coles as customer, UC Davis and University of Arizona as research and development partners, Government of South Australia as a funder, 
मैं क्वार बैग कैन के क्या एस एक्विटी पार्टनर्स एंड देन ई सोला एस सोलर सिस्टम प्रोवाइडर सो ऑल दिस बिजनेस पार्टनर्स आर पार्ट ऑफ द वैल्यू क्रिएशन एट सेंट्रो फार्म्स सो हाउ कैन मैनेजमेंट अकाउंटिंग हेल्प एंटरप्राइजेस लाइक दिस there are five aspects to to note first is the innovation whether it's a incremental or disruptive innovation or radically different second is the enterprise model used with the different products processes and systems third are the opportunities that's available with the products markets financing and political situation and the fourth are the risk associated with those opportunities of products markets financing and the political situation and finally fifth is the value creation uh, that is enacted to the opportunities realizing the opportunities and managing risk so in relation to sandra farms it was a radically different or disruptive idea of having a greenhouse in a, a, a land that is not able to cultivate and coming up with a enterprise model which is environmentally friendly to produce trash tomatoes the opportunity that was available for the sandra farm was year round production of tomatoes and having a contract a ready contract with a coals for the sale of tomatoes and expanding the markets into from australia to portugal and us and convinced in the the venture capitalists uh, to invest in the venture and having the political backing from the government of south australia along with that came the risk minimization having um, a steady contract for the, for the market place to sell tomatoes convincing the venture capitalists with a steady cash flows and the political backing of the government of south australia uh for the project that assisted the value creation in the sandra farm another way to look at is take the global management accounting principles framework and look at the four aspects that four principles embedded in it is a communication that is insightful and influential gathering information relevant information and sharing them and examining the impact on value on value and building trust so in relation to the sort of farms it used the decision relevant financial and non financial information to generate and preserve value 
for the farm. And in relation to the global management accounting principles, he communicated his performance to the business partners, collected and shared relevant information, and built trust with the business partners and analyze the impact on enterprise value to consolidate the relationship with the business partners. This brings us to the end of the video and thanks for watching.